everyone, welcome aboard. Luke from Rocked. Rocked on that, the, the Twitch. He does his new music show on the weekends. And he's got a whole bunch of music related videos and stuff. And we're going to link to him down there so you can find his stuff. He's very cool. Thank you. Um, hmm? You got a have you got a little sign in the background there? I change it out every now and then <laughs> to say different stuff. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I've gone full hammy Twitch streamer to go. Uh? Please follow and subscribe. And yes, I know I've done. I'm doing that gameathon right now where I'm just. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Well. <sighs> Tonight, we have, of course, all of the horrible... Nine! Can we yeah, talk yeah. about games? It's just... That would be it. nice, yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a different, that's a different, po the different show entirely. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. This is, uh... This is us. This is the, this is the niche I picked. So many us. things! <laughs> us! <laughs> I'm being dragged into this, then. Almost like doing the night for over 20 years. I think back to all the things I could have focused on. And this is the niche I decided on. This, this is, this is, this is what I did to myself. I do like the idea of you, whatever you might have been, having to go to HR block and talking about the things you do and having to be specific and describe what this show is. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like that idea, telling that to an accountant who does not have a sense of humor or understand humor and explaining what this show is. I think that's pretty good, I though, in my head. All right, let us get the intro rolling. Yes. And one and two. And uh, each week, Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go out on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible shit, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call. What the fuck is wrong with you? And uh, Luke? <laughs> yeah, you, you, it's poop free. It's I, I, I'm going to be okay. be nice. It's it's poop free know. this week. Now I never know what to expect. I enjoy my conversations and time with you, Nash. But every now and then I don't know what to expect from you. And that bothers me at some point. Uh, all right. Well, this this first one is um, it took two years to get this investigation done. But I want to tell you, this was. Without a doubt, one of the most satisfying we fucking told you so's in a long oh, time. Okay. I'm up for comeuppance. Okay. Oh yeah. I don't know if you remember, uh, just after the election, early 2020, I mean 2021, somewhere around there, a dude came out and said someone had set fire to his camper and had spray painted Biden and anarchy symbols. On his yes, garage. I do remember that. Yeah. And we're all like, yeah, that motherfucker faked it. Well, that guess what? It himself. Why, yes. Yes, he did. Yeah. Not only did he do it himself, that wasn't even like, they might as well just put that in the news story two, two years ago. He clearly did it himself. Yeah. It was, it was, there, there, there was like, oh, all right. Let me get, yeah. <laughs> Come on, computer. Don't make me turn this internet around. All right, there we go. Um, so, uh, yeah, here we go. Um, a Brooklyn Center man faces federal charges after he lit his own camper on fire to make it look like a politically motivated crime. <laughs> and if you're if you're forgetting, here's a little reminder of that picture there. U.S. Attorney's Office say Dennis Vladimir Vladimirovich. Mola, wow, uh, 29 is charged with two counts of wire fraud in connection with a fire that took place on September 23rd, 2020. Uh, Mola reported to police that someone set his camper on fire, quote, because it had a, tw a Trump 2020 flag displayed in it and sprayed the Antifa or anarchy symbol BLM and Biden 2020 on the garage door. <laughs> it looks like a five-year-old did it with the handwriting. It still looks like a five-year-old did that. Court documents show Mola then submitted multiple insurance claims seeking coverage for the damage to his car. <laughs> Mola submitted insurance claims totaling more than 
$60,000, receiving only $61,000, here's the audacity of the son of a bitch, then accused his insurance company of, quote, defrauding him. For documents show, he also yielded more than 17000 from two GoFundMe accounts. Uh. The audacity. Where, 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 where do you want to start? Because there's a lot going on. This motherfucker Ugh. right here. This. And he re- yeah, and he really thought. You, you could tell, first of all, 29? Yeah. Uh, man, that, that one I didn't know about. But still, 29 when I saw that picture. Okay. But. It's a rough 29, yeah. It's a rough 29, but also, this is the type of man who thinks every single idea he has is going to lay out perfectly and never questions it, and he's a genius, and he's got it figured out. Yeah, it's like, okay, how about I do this, and I do this, and and this. Has anybody ever done that? Yes, it's insurance fraud. Are you sure? Yes. But have they done it at the same time? Yeah. (laughs) Because if they'll be too busy and confused, I'll make out like a bandit. And then I'll do GoFundMe's to make it look like I'm a victim of it all. Fucking, I was like, just... The, like, just I don't know which is worse. That. Also, campers are not cheap. Even no. the cheapest camper you get is still expensive. Yep. $300,000. I, I don't think your camper was worth three hundred grand though, if you're willing to light it on fire. Not a chance. There's no way. But it's so, probably worth. Tra- I, I will say it was probably worth more than sixty one thousand. Sure, so I that's pretty, fair. he pretty much he fucked himself over on that one. It yes. was like, but, but money, yeah, this isn't working out like it's supposed to. Uh, and then to say, well, I'm going to sue the insurance company. Wow, <laughs> I I hope your lawyer is fantastic. And wire fraud is one of those. It sounds like oh, that that's that's that's, that's what is that? That's no big deal. No, 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 wire fraud is one of those that everybody, they're really into to prosecuting that one. Mm-hmm. That's, that's one they don't, you're not supposed to do that. That's the hard time felony you go for a few years. Yeah, Lady so. Meanshaw says, you can't say no much, you can't say no whammies on fraud. Oh, they will find out eventually. Oh, he got the, oh, he got the whammy, all right. Oh, well, uh. You know, I still stand by. Was it because he was trying to capitalize on the whole election situation in 2020? Or was he an idiot that was so upset that he lit his thing on fire to try to blame people and then thought of this get rich quick scheme? I honestly I honestly think um he he had the get rich scheme in mind. Get rich quick scheme. Yeah. Although I I he would have probably gotten away with it if he hadn't gone back. No, no, you owe me money. Right. Like, fucker. Pretty much. Criminal geniuses here. All right. Uh, <laughs> moving right along. And this next one, we've got video. We've got a, this just. This is a metaphor for something. I swear to God. When you watch this, you'll see what's what I'm talking about. Let me. Uh, I've got many things to do. Come on now. Discord. Discord. Let me pull it up. Robot house. Here we go. Okay, there we go. And we got Vidya. Let's uh let's cue this one up. And this is from um Menominee Falls. No, 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 don't do that. Do it. Yes, yes, but without the oops. There we go. Um this is Menominee Falls. And uh <laughs> The, the just the thumbnail of the video clip. I already love it. Falls, uh, Menominee uh, Falls attempted jewelry theft. Police seek man with brick. Menominee Falls Police Department is looking for a man who allegedly tried to smash a jeweler's display case with a brick on Wednesday, June first. According to police, the subject went to K's Jewelers. Suspect described as five feet seven inches to six feet tall, medium build. Police are hoping the public comes forward helps identify the suspect. Um, yeah, l- just watch it again. There he is. You putts. You blew it. Oh, <laughs> you oh. blew it. Oh, it's, it's like watching a chimp. I swear to fucking God. Yeah, yeah, it really is. And, uh, as he's doing this, the two ladies behind the counter, one of them, I don't know what she grabs, but she's about done with his shit. Yeah. And oh, she, yeah. I think that's a golf club. No, it's not a golf club. It's just s- something. 
it's like a walking maybe it's like one of those like a uh, metal walking something i don't know but she's but all like yeah she's fun done. fact all major jewel stores have safety precautions right perceived like this they are all aware stuff like this happens and he came in he i love how he didn't give up he's like well it didn't break all right this time no it's not a walk it's it gets too long but yeah it's all right this uh, time okay this time and break oh that lady could have roughed him up oh she was she was there's a way people move and she uh -huh. is moving like the oh i'm coming for your fucking ass she's she has intention to hurt yeah. Also, it's like a li that little kid breaking the piggy bank, just eh, eh, and can't do it. He's not strong eh. enough. Because <laughs> he I, had he was trying to spike it and like, oh, pick it back up. Oh, and yet again, this is one of those where you have the perfect excuse to wear a mask. Mask. You can get away with it in this day and age and commit crimes, and you won't. Wear the mask, especially at a jewelry store where you know they're gonna have closed cat, like closed circuit cameras and stuff. Nah, like someone's gonna. And he, I love. He took the plates off his car. Look at that shit. There's still, there's still a limited number of that make, that model, that white color, white sedans. Yeah, yeah. And they got, they got enough of his face. They oh got yeah, more than enough of his face. He's oh, done. And. If someone is this fucking stupid, yeah, and they see you on TV, they go, "That's Bill, that's his dumbass." Yes. Oh, the Crime Stoppers, like the hotline to turn people in. There's somebody at his job saying, "I'll take five hundred bucks to get that idiot out of my place." <laughs> Heck yeah! Heck yeah! Five hundred bucks, and I don't have to see this jerk in the morning. Great, <laughs> old Brick Bobby. Absolutely, I don't want Brick mm. Bobby coming into my place anymore. Ugh. <sighs> Also, I just realized he wasn't wearing gloves, so nope. he had to have opened the doors. Yep. So his handprints and fingerprints are all over the doors. Uh -huh. so. Dumb <laughs> motherfucker. We don't even have to be cops to like detectives to like, start clearly poking holes in everything he did. To, uh, uh. All right. Uh, well, good I, for that lady, though. Good for that lady. Yeah. yeah. Um, next up, I don't prescribe to any faith myself. But I do know a bit about them. And one of the things I know is judge not lest she be judged. I know that one. So believe me when I say when I, this lady is going to hell, I'm not exaggerating. I understand the entire implications of what I'm saying. And this lady is going to hell. Um, Gretna Man says... Uh, PA increased his meds, made him think he was crazy for pointing out flag. The Gretna man says his Danville physician, uh, physician assistants increased his medication dosage after he noticed a Confederate flag on the physician's assistant's wall. Donald Wilson is diagnosed with anxiety and PTSD, causing him to seek psychiatric care. What he thought would be a regular follow-up appointment, Wilson said, turned into a traumatic experience. And it's not an exaggeration when you read what the fuck she did. Wilson called his healthcare professional, Pamela Odell, through a video chat. When he noticed Odell sitting by a Confederate flag, he said it caught him off guard. Um, being a black male, I felt really uncomfortable. She told me, Mr. Wilson, I don't know what you're talking about, there's no flag on my wall. Go oh, screw yourself, lady. I hope, I hope not all your license is gone. I do hope you get some type of jail time just for that whole sequence. Wilson, that is wretched. Wilson said he took screenshots of the flag as Odell started to turn the camera away from the flag. Oh, he, yeah. He said oh, she, oh. Con she continued to deny the flag's existence, claiming he was paranoid. Wilson said she then doubled the dosage of his sedative, sedative medication without another appointment. Ugh. That, cool. that oh, and she been fired. She she's oh, on yeah yeah she she done been fired. I also tried to get in contact with Odell. But we've had no success in locating her. You think? Um, yeah. As hard enough as it is to get psychiatric, just look, even go and seek out psychiatric care in America. 
Because it's already fucking rare, expensive, and not always a perfect fit. So it's hard to get it here. To pull this shit. On someone who is already on medication for the exact problems you're exacerbating. The, the, there's... I, Tr can I go back a second? Sure. Try then to turn the camera away. It's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Idiot. Oh. What do you mean screen cap? What's a screen cap? What? What? I've also... I, as soon as you said the name Danville, I've been to Danville, Virginia, oddly enough. Small, small town. Small, small town. So she's not so, getting another top job there ever. Everyone in town heard about it by now and knows her by a first name basis because everyone knows everyone in that small town. Oh, that poor guy. I, I, everything. He, I'm glad he was so calm and asked calmly. Uh, he had way more right to say, uh, what the heck's wrong with you and blow up at that one. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, well, no, there's, uh, he, there's a thing you learn. Um, Number one, in psychiatric care. Number two, probably because he's black. I can't speak to that experience itself. But there's a thing you learn. Even when you're entitled to blow up, the fact that you're in some of those categories negates your anger. You're, you're, you're like, once you get angry, you're like, oh, well, whatever the fuck you else they were saying, it doesn't matter. They got angry at me. It's, it's, yep. it's, 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 it's shit. Um... And then fired on Monday. Good. So. I seem to remember there was a dude, um, Hippocrates, something, and he had an oath or a thing. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm maybe I'm not remembering rightly. That's not trying to help someone. That's not promising to help anyone whenever they need it. Now, I, I, maybe she was trying to help in her own way. I don't know how helpful that was, but maybe that was her own way of helping. By going, no. Double the dose, it sounds helpful, though. Literally everybody at her malpractice insurance just screamed fuck oh. all at once. <laughs> fuck! 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 Just, just a whole I office. Thought, I never thought of that either. Like, man, that's like overtime. Like having to work on that case, having to get all that stuff filed out. That's a month's worth of work because of this one eight lady. Why are we screaming fuck? This. Fuck! Really? Okay. What are you guys upset about? Fuck. <laughs> just, just like a chain just reaction a chain, of a domino. Chain, all, five, all five floors of the building, all the way up, <laughs> snakes around until the very top. Uh, uh, all right. Well, moving right along. And um, who says chivalry's dead in America? Well, it has a gun now. Ugh. Man, what kind of awful segue is that? <laughs> man arrested after pointing gun at people who didn't thank him for holding door. Yucks. Hamden, Connecticut. Hamden police arrested a New Haven man for allegedly pointing a gun at customers after they didn't say, quote, thank you when he held the door open for them. Joshua Murray, 25, held the door open for two female customers outside the family dollar. Uh... When a uh, witness reported Murphy, uh, Murray was upset uh, after not receiving a thank you, leading him to point his firearm at them. Now here's just to make it better. Murray didn't have a permit for the gun. No. A felony. Um, police responded, located half a mile away, where he interfered with the resisting officers. No one was hurt. Uh, was charged with carrying a pistol without a permit. Two charges of beach and peace. Uh, the second degree, interfering with the police officer, scheduled to appear in court. You've already got an illegal goddamn gun. And you're showing people, you're, you're threatening people. Yeah, showing people barrel first. Civilians, no less. You know where else they won't thank, say thank you? Prison. Prison. You're not getting any thank yous there. They, they don't have a whole lot of etiquette. There's no pleases, no thank yous. There's really not. No one, no, no, no one even holds the door open for you. No one will do that. Not no, one person. No, uh, no, no salad forks, no soup spoons. See, um, in very young ages, the polite police in kindergarten would come around and like give you a little star if you said please and thank you and yeah. remind people that he took that way, way too, too serious and kept it all the way till his twenties. Man. I've held the door open. I have held the door open for some rude ass fucking people. Yeah. A 
it doesn't matter. It's just what you do. If <laughs> if they're defective humans who can't say fucking thank you, okay. Okay, you move on. Yeah. You don't pull a goddamn That is a vengeance type thing. Ugh. Like proportional response. <laughs> what do you did it, I'm just trying to think, like, to even have the anger and wrath to draw the gun in the first place, to point it at people that didn't say thank you, at the family dollar. dollar. Yeah, that's... Really? Why, why was your wrath stirred up so much at the family dollar? And I'll tell you what, of all <laughs> the places to start some shit, nobody calls the cops faster than oh, the yeah. family dollar. Oh, and the cops know how to get there the fastest way because yep. they're there all the time. That, that is not a place. It's, it's, it's like, you might as well have held up a donut shop, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, Jedi know, Eldritch says, this sounds like a comedy sketch. Doesn't it just? It kind of does. The start of like a holdup situation. And like they're trying to rationalize all the hostages of the family dollar. Well, he didn't. They didn't say thank you. So we're trying to get them out one by one. Are they saying thank you now? Yes. He's still all about. He's that crazy. But a bunch of people in the channel are like pointing out. Did, did they say after, after they made them say thank you? Did he say you're welcome? And they pull out their guns. <laughs> and it's just a big spiral. <laughs> Everyone's pointing their guns and polite, like forcing politeness on each other. Of uh, some anti Canada where the politeness has to be forced with uh, the gun. Uh, what? Then what do you put on like job resumes after a while? Because every job resume asks if you've ever been incarcerated for everything. Yep. How are you going to explain that one? Have you Try ever been arrested? Job... If so, please explain what <laughs> it was for. What? You can't just say yes or no. You have to explain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And forever. For fucking yeah. ever. Also, yeah, I'll explain it. And I had a little problem with your secretary who opened the door for me, or I opened the door for, and guess what she didn't say? It starts again. Ugh. All right, next one's from Georgia. Uh, you're familiar with Little Caesars, right? Pizza, pizza. Mm -hmm. The garbage pizza. The, it is. The $5. It's, it is college pizza. That is the best way I can describe it. College pizza. I will say the pizza does terrible things to me. Like it, it makes my bathroom sad, but the crazy bread's amazing. The crazy That's bread's fun. worth it. And, and it's crazy. dangerous. I say college pizza yeah. cause at my call uh, where I went to school, um, the local pizza pizza, if you showed your student ID, you got to order a crazy bread for a dollar. With oh, your pizza. That's and just higher order. You think I didn't get fat at college? You better believe that's I just did. carbs. It's just loads of carbs. So for, yeah, when you say you have to understand, it's not like you're the highest end place in the world. No. no. So why on earth would you try to break into the Little Caesars via the roof and a, a, an oven exhaust pipe? They have nothing that you want there at Little Caesars. I don't even know if they have enough cash to make it worth it. The gas, the expense of gas to drive there for that to break in. Ugh. Man got himself into a very sticky situation to Cobb County, uh, to Cobb, to Cobb, to Cobb, whatever. Uh, when he found himself trapped inside an exhaust pipe above an oven at a Little Caesars restaurant. County police shows photos of firefighters cutting the man out of the vent, which extended to would appear to extend from a large pizza oven. They said they got reports of a man trapped in the vent, the Little Caesars. They say he tried to enter the top of the Little Caesars at the shopping center through an oven pipe. It took firefighters an hour to remove him. He's taken to the hospital after being extracted. They don't know how the man ended up in the vent. But they're still investigating. I'll tell you how. Dumbass, dumbass. <laughs> Article, that's a good one. Oh, uh, I'm seeing dumbass. the photo. Yeah. Uh, this is also a statement as someone who has eaten quite a bit of Little Caesars in my time. Yeah. Uh, they don't clean that pizza oven like other pizza places. So I can't even imagine how filthy that exhaust pipe well, and pizza oven and everything are. Obviously, what happened here? Because I, I, we can recreate. We, we, we can play, do a little Columbo here. We can. Uh, obviously, what happened was. 
he thought, I'm going to break into the shopping center. Mm -hmm. And there's a hole here that I can get into. And it's not guarded. So I can just go. And you know why? It leads to an oven, you dumb shit. <coughs> Are you fireproof? That's not a like a fireman's pole or a person shoot. That's for a very specific pur purpose. Not for people. Ugh. What? If this had played out to its logical conclusion, they would the pizza would have been actually cheaper that day just to get it out the door because it all smelled yeah. vaguely like pork. <laughs> um, like Dave who was living down the street. Oh God! It's, I'm just thinking about that. Like, however long he was in there for, just the smell oh, in God. those pipes. Oh my gosh! Oh. Oh, Omega, Omega, Omega says Among Us venting is not a LARP. No, it isn't. No, oh, like, he's sus. He is sus. <laughs> we've we've grown up. The entire generation, multiple generations, have grown up watching films and TV shows where people crawl. Like Stranger Things just recently did it. People crawling into vents. They're not that big. Okay. I remember being little watching or seeing that first Mission Impossible with Tom Cruise in the mid 90s, them crawling through the vent on their elbows. Not how it works. Ving <laughs> fucking Rames. Yeah. He was not a small man fucking crawling yeah. through a vent at the FBI, like the FBI or the CIA or where would do that. Fuck. It's no. not the thing. Buildings are not made like that ever for any reason. Yeah. The, uh. the, the Enterprise is built like that, but you know what? The Enterprise isn't real. Yeah, it's fictional. Uh, also, the Little Caesars does not have the Enterprise money. So even if it was, you know. Also, the, um, Captain Picard is not eating Little Caesars. No, it's a little bit below him. Uh, Our last one, this, this, I, I don't know how, I don't, I guess the, 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 the uh, category for this one is I don't know what I expected. Holy shit, this guy. Um, he had, he had the correct reaction when we get to it because yeah. Um, cannabis site worth a hundred thousand dollars busted next to police station. Grower reportedly fainted when police made the journey across the street to inspect the operation. Cannabis grow with a poor sense of the surroundings has been busted for cultivating 118 plants next to a police station. That is so much hot. It's so much. 41 year old grower reportedly fainted when the uh, uh, police made the journey across the street to its <laughs> across the street. Police made the bust in uh, we uh, we Lanarkshire, a town of about 30,000 people in Scotland. That's why I can't pronounce it. Um, they caught they wind of the, they caught, they caught wind they of the operation as the cannabis smell wafted over from the neighboring building. How could it not? <laughs> it has to be everywhere. Yeah, they've le Scotland's legalized the medical, but they haven't done the recreational yet. It's probably right. going to be eventually if you just waited a little. <laughs> You see, what you do is you wait until just after it becomes legal, then you start the grow house across yeah. from the cops. Just be like, then you can then you can grow over a hundred a hundred plants worth, a hundred plants worth. In addition to one hundred eighteen mature plants, ninety nine <laughs> seedlings were seized. Please estimate the haul to be worth a hundred thousand, and the equipment used to be worth another thirty five thousand. The commercial level production of cannabis, um. Personal level. Ugh. Jesus Christ. The building has been privately owned ever since. It's a bit surreal, though, seeing the old inspector's office full of root balls and empty pots. I. Yeah, it, <laughs> that's got. Man, that Scottish police station had one heck of an afternoon after it, like, tried to process all that. Get that in the evidence locker. Cram it all in. Ugh. I don't. It's like, I wonder if it was like, it's the last place they'll ever look. Was probably I swear to God, he probably. Yeah, it's it's at the friends close and enemies closer type situation, and you treated them as the enemies. That's hidden in plain sight. Is that another one? I, I don't know what else there could have been. Any 
Scotland's big enough to where you could relocate to somewhere else that's not right across the street from the precinct. Right? Just, yeah, it's stupid how you think it's going to better call Saul. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, but, oh, <laughs> Greg, dime bag pipes. Dime bag oh. pipes. That, that's, that's, that's terrible. That's, I'm probably mm. going to use that one. It's terrible. I'm going to use it. Just, what in the world? I love how he fainted. Like, you weren't waiting for this day? I would have been on, like, constant alert for that shit. The paranoia had to have already been in a system in it for obvious reasons in the first place, right? Uh, I know the, the real estate market right now is shit, but yeah. come on! Literally any place else. Yeah, yeah. That's no excuse. Come on now. Like, and <laughs> precinct 420. Just, yeah, well, I just still, how long had they been there? Because if they've grown that many plants, it had to have been a while. A while. So they had to have had enough money and like funds and resources to move out then. If they're growing that much, $30,000 in equipment too? That's not just some local druggie down the street. Just imagine this poor guy, everyday shit's growing, just shitting himself a little every day. <laughs> They're going to find out. They're going to find out. But I got to grow five more. I got to grow five more plants. <laughs> I got to. Like, literally any place else. I, you're yeah. like, oh, well, what about the overhead? You're committing crime. The overhead? Crime. I already, filed my, I already filed my taxes on this place, though. You know how much of a pain that is. You're, uh. you're committing crime. Just what? What? Where's the? It was like, well, I, I'm going to grow marijuana, but you know, ditching out on my fucking rent—that's that's too far. That's too far. I can't do that. I signed a lease. Damn it! <laughs> I can't. I that don't, means I don't something. Lose my deposit. I don't want to lose my deposit on that. <laughs> uh. Also, if it's that much pot, couldn't you have just sold it to one of the medicinal companies or pro like programs in around the area? Which that, no that. <laughs> Z Bradley says the stress was for fertilizer. Huh. Um, that's something I don't uh, understand about how the, the whole medical thing worked. Where did they get it from? It's legal to sell the medical marijuana. Somebody had to make it. So where did you somewhere. get it? Because at and it's not, yeah, it's not that synthetic stuff either. It's illegal. It looked like it was illegal to transport, illegal to import, illegal to grow. Mm -hmm. Where did it come from? The pot fairy? Ugh. Like fucking Elon Musk with wings climbs into your room at 3 a.m. Don't give him ideas. He's gonna look. He's looking for his next adventure after Twitter. <laughs> Ugh, pot for everybody. Uh, I don't. I don't know. This poor. That was poor cop. I actually do feel bad for those Scottish police officers having to deal with the paperwork, filing out a hundred, like a hundred thousand dollars worth of pot. That's a problem. That's a bad Tuesday. You can bet somebody who is like in charge below above that precinct was like. They were there for how long and you didn't realize it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're getting ripped apart by the supervisor of that district. Absolutely. Totally. Yeah. You drove by there every day for how many months? Um, you didn't smell it when you walked outside? It's right there. I smell it from here. <laughs> so that's the, the first thing we've learned is if, if you're committing crime, do it where the police are not. Or it's, where they're facing every day across the street just if the big sign says police that's where they are yeah and they were always will be too yeah um we've learned that if you find an open pipe it's not an invitation it's not super mario which you can't go down and <laughs> expect to collect something good you can't it's a fucking warp zone yeah it's a it's, warp zone to hell it's a, yeah a war to a, some stank, some old, greasy, dirty pizza stank. Ugh. Um, we've learned it's uh, etiquette does not include firearms. No. It's, it's not. Miss Manners doesn't cover nine millimeters. Yeah. Uh, we, uh. <laughs> we've learned that, yes, Virginia, you will go to hell. We found yeah. exactly how you you're, do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Go directly to hell. Yeah. Oh. Ugh. I can't even think about that one. That's. Ugh. Ugh. 
we've learned that if the glass doesn't break the first time you hit it with the brick with the brick, do not try try again. Run. And to your point too, we all grew up with the Looney Tunes cartoons and all those old cartoons where the bandits had a mask on. When did that stop being a thing? Right? Like that's we, not before, but decades before we were born. That was a thing still. We're in the age of of facial recognition camera shit everywhere. Yep. Just and, and you have an excuse. We gave you an out. Yeah, no one can take it off of you. No one will even try. And no you one will try. Still, you still won't wear the fucker. Even to not go to jail, you won't wear the fucker. And finally, we've learned um, <laughs> pretty much if all of us tell you a dude fucking fake the shit because yeah. you could look at it for five seconds, it's like that backwards. You remember the Obama thing, the backwards B on the face? She, she, she like, they did this to me. Yeah, and it was fucking fake. We, if we tell you it's, it's fucking fake, fucking listen to us. Was that really worth a two-year investigation? Really? Two years? Really? Jeez. Uh, there is a... Uh, Grady is just exhausted he's, with this, all of this nonsense. He's always exhausted. That's his job. Can you blame him? I, I see why he's worn out. <laughs> he was on that case for two years. It's like, finally, it's done. Like, the longest... At some point, I told you so, goes so long, people are like, what? What are you even talking about? And then it's it that it burns. Yeah. It fucking yeah. burns. Ugh. 